We are doing three tier lists in one video for World of Warcraft's classic hardcore edition. The first one's going to be a hardcore leveling up, getting from 1 to 60. Can you do it? Can you complete the hardcore challenge and survive? Second one is going to be at end game. What does it look like in classic end game? Because some of you guys might not care about the journey to just be really cautious and get there no matter what, and you really care about the end game. And then I'm going to do a third one on fun, which one's the most fun. That one's going to be a little bit subjective, but. Let's go ahead and get right into it. And how I'm going to do this tier is I'm going to start off from the best classes and work my way down in order. And this first list is going to be how easy it is to level. Getting from 1 to 60, how many tools do you have in your disposal, how well can you do it. Let's go. So the first class, top number one, easiest to do, etc. It's going to be the hunter. It is going to be the hunter. I don't think many people are going to disagree with me on that one. Hunter, oh my gosh, you have so many tools at your disposal. You have a pet, you attack from range, your pet can tank and taunt for you. You have slows, you have kites, you have melee slow, you have a range slow, you have dots and stuff, you have movement speed increases with aspect of the pack and cheetah to move around. You can travel around the world much faster. A hunter is just so, so, so good. You have a, a two-in-one pet that comes with you, and it's basically a personal tank for you. My God, it's just going to be so good. And feign death. Get out of here. Feign death to be able to feign death and just, uh, if anything hits the fan and you got to almost die, feign death unless you get resisted. Uh, feign a uh, hunter is just amazing. So that one's going to start the whole thing off with. But before we get into the second one, I do have a full video that goes into a lot more detail in each class. I'm going to show a little sneak peek here of this chart right there, but... I basically have a video linked down in the description where I go into much more detail and break each class down in even more detail besides just, just more fun, quick tier list type video. Check that out if you want to see that. So here we go. Number two class for me is a mage. Mage, mage, mage. Uh, mages uh, usually set the record in all of the history of World of Warcraft for getting the uh, max level first. They have so many tools in their kit with blink, AoEs, uh, to be able to kind of cleave things down, instant button AoEs. Yes, it does take a bunch of mana. You get instant what, food and drinks, teleporting all around the world. My goodness, the amount of tools in outside of combat, in combat, evocation to recharge mana, frost novas, uh, CCs, polymorph sheeps, intellect buffs. My god, mages. Uh, I even for a second thought about putting them first, but I mean, hunters, come on. So mages are so, so, so good in dungeon groups too, just being able to crowd control with sheeps. Insane, absolutely insane. Number three is now gonna be an A tier list. I'm actually also, uh, while you're watching this video, think about which ones uh, you might say next and see how synced up we are in this and see if I persuade you. And let me know in the comments uh, what your tier list would be or what switches you'd make to my own one. Next one's going to be the Priest. Oh, man, the Priest. The Priest has Fortitude, which is the best buff there is. Power Word Shields for instant shields on yourself or allies. Keep in mind, this is a journey that we all make together sometimes. You're going to have dungeon groups. You're going to have things where you could save somebody with a Power Word Shield. An AoE Fear. Priest's AoE Fear. to could be able to uh, randomly fear everything. Now, it gets a little crazy with creatures rolling all over the place. But uh, huge heals on yourself. Heal over times. Uh, there's just so much that the priest has to offer and their wands just automatic damage very large damage especially if you spec into it shadow form super cool if you want to go the damage route they're the best healers in the game i mean come on priest you're gonna have it's gonna take some time because they don't deal the most damage and the leveling process is going to be slow and maybe boring but man oh man are you gonna have some tools to survive and be able to uh, fight some stuff and do some quests uh, that you might not be able to do on other classes so next up uh, we got who we only got six left which one's gonna be the next one uh, next up for me is the rogue uh, I think the rogue it has a huge toolkit of stuns saps gouges uh, stealthing uh, big huge burst damage out of stealth stuns out of stealth they have two different stuns they have a kick they have so and mages also for the record have a counter spell also very very uh very, very powerful uh but rogues my god endless damage they don't have any source of mana to be able to have to worry about they're one of the top damage dealers in the game almost pretty much across the game uh warriors in you know warriors scale with gear Rogues scale with gear, of course, too, but rogues, huge amounts of damage cons consistently. Uh, evasion to be able to have a cooldown to be able to stay alive with. Vanish, very similar to Hunter's uh, Feign Death. Huge kit to be able to stay alive and survive. Absolutely uh, a game changer for the rogue, especially in survival mode here. And then the next one here, we're riddling it down. Uh, Warlock is going to be next. I think Warlocks are underrated a bit. Uh, they, they uh, on the official... Uh, uh, death death logs 
they are apparently die a lot. Like uh, they they should be rated down here for survivability, and they might be last in survivability when it comes to uh, how many warlocks have died and the average level they get to. But the they are very similar to a hunter in their toolkit. They have a pet. It's not as good of a pet uh, as the hunter's pet, but man, is it versatile because you could have four different pets you could summon depending on the situation you're in. If you're in a group and there's already a tank, imp buff with that stamina the imp provides, super good. Stacking with a four, oh my goodness. Um, there's lots of different uh, cool things the warlock can provide just from their pet alone and changing what type of pet you have. Damage over time in hardcore on the official servers. There's not a dot limit anymore So uh, which I guess is not gonna matter too much while leveling But still uh, being able to apply dots and be able to stay on the move you can life tap to gain mana You can drain life to gain health. You have a lot of control over things health stones You have health stones you can create that's huge, right? Um, uh, soul stones <laughs> won't work in hardcore, but uh, warlocks I think are underrated uh, and just just the fact that they have a pet they can sacrifice uh, if you do demonology with soul link you're very survivable and lots of lots of different tools in your kit there. I thought about moving them down to B, but I'm going to leave them right there. I'm going to leave them right there just because they are so similar to Hunter in that way. Range, DPS, all that good stuff. And fears. Fears and yeah. So anyway, uh, next class up here. Keep in mind, this is a leveling uh, to, to try and get to 60k. So keep in mind, if you're if you're if, if you think some of these should be higher, stay with me for the next uh, uh, thing here. We got druids are next. Uh, druids are so versatile, the most versatile. They can do every single role in the game: uh, tanking, melee DPS, range DPS, healing. Uh, but as far as your leveling journey, you just have a lot of tools in your kit. You have a lot of forms you can shift into. You have heal over time you can put on yourself to run away. Travel form instant button to go faster and run away as long as you're outside same thing with entangling roots as a crowd control as long as you're outside uh ranged casting stuff uh, a lot of times uh druids are going to be sl slanting towards feral in cat form bear form stuff while leveling and you have an entire mana bar that you're just sitting on to be able to shift out heal do some damage moon fires shift back in Lots of the utility you provide uh, in that way. Eh, your group buffs aren't the best, but you just have a lot of well-rounded utility. I think Druid's a solid B tier right there. Next up, Paladin. Uh, the Paladin right here uh, has just a ton of survivability in their base kit. They have bubbles on, on uh, blessing of protection on other people, blessing of freedom to be able to kind of spread that around. Very good group buffs. You obviously get benefit of from yourself. Divine Shield to be able to kind of just be immune from stuff. Oh my God, immune from... I can't tell you how many times I've watched you know, hardcore death videos and the Paladin, oh, don't worry, they still have a Divine Shield immunity bubble, lay on hands for instant full health heal. Like, oh my gosh, they have so many tools in their kit. Uh, some of them are on very long cooldowns, yes, but that's still a bunch of tools. They are a plate wearing, or I guess male, so plate wearing. They have wear the heaviest armor in the game and they can heal. It's just a super, super great class as far as um, survivability goes and getting all the way up there. Super go. Uh, it, it is very auto attack based class, so it might be a little boring, similar to a priest, but you have a ton of tools for survivability. Next up, we are now shifting down into the C tier, and we have, sadly, shamans are in the C tier. Uh, and yes, that does mean warrior is at the bottom, but you might have seen that coming, and I'll explain here in a second. Uh, shamans are a solid, solid uh, class, though. I, they are C tier. I have played many shamans in hardcore. It's the most class I've played in hardcore. It's probably what I'm going to main in hardcore. That's a whole other story for another video, though. I'm going to be a shaman tank, but... That, that, we'll talk about that later. You'll see other streams. Check out my live streams. Uh, but uh, they have a lot of totems to be able to buff the group with. They can heal. They, they wear mail in, or leather to mail, and they wear a shield and stuff. So they're similar to a paladin in that way. Totems aren't a buff that is just on you. It is You have to be a kind of around it, so that's kind of a little annoying. And they have, they have mana issues, and their, their DPS isn't the best. They obviously... they. they really can't tank. Uh, the Enhancement Shamans, they give great buffs. They're really good at giving buffs. So if you have a group with Warriors and Rogues in it, you put a Shaman in there for Wind Fury and stuff, super good. Uh, they're healers, as long as they can give Wind Fury, super good. So they're just, they don't shine on their own. They're not the best at anything. And uh, yeah, they are down in the C tier. Uh, and then we have Warrior in the D tier. Uh, and again, this is purely just to, to get from zero Two or one to sixty. Uh, it's very hard for warriors. They have no heals. They have if you overpull, 
you're dead. There's not any sort of like, oh, bubble or crowd control. Ooh, that. You eventually, as you level up, you gain things like intimidating, shout for a little group fear. You do wear plate armor or mail to plate armor. Uh, you deal a lot of damage and you have a two-hander with sweeping strikes and other things, but a lot of the big stuff you get to stay alive comes online 30 to 40. So that first one to 20-ish to 30 levels is rough. It's the hardest for the warrior. Uh, it is a challenge, but once you get to 40, oh my gosh, you got it. You got it. You're going to be able to get to 60. You're totally fine. Warriors, what I played back in the day, I've played World of Warcraft, what, 16, 17, however long the game's been out, played back in vanilla as a warrior. Uh, main tank, Thunder Fury, all the stuff, so I have a huge soft uh, soft spot for a warrior. I will be playing a warrior alongside Shaman uh, whenever Hardcore releases, and so my two favorite classes are actually at the bottom here uh but i'm i'm all about it baby i'll take the challenge let's go and that's a cool thing to, to kind of think about the ticket challenge if you're first starting the game maybe you want to pick one of these and if you're really experienced you want a challenge maybe pick some of these whatever you uh, float your boat but for warrior it is hard to get up there because you are uh, on your own as far as that goes and if you, you all you have are items and if you want to pick up engineering or anything like that to items and potions to use to try and keep yourself alive because you don't have any healing stuff or real, really true crowd controls like that so there's the list now here's what we're going to get into end game end game list we're going to do these next two pretty quick i'm going to show you the list straight off the bat boom this is the end game tier list in my opinion to break it down real quick, Warriors, I think, are the S tier. They are absolutely the only S tier class uh, in, in my little spread right here. This is for end game. You will hit level 60. What are you looking like? Warriors are the number one damage and the number one tank. Two of the three roles, and they're the best at it? Come on. You can't. They are S tier. It's standing alone S tier. They do scale heavily with gear. So, I mean, they're the best tank straight up. Feral Druids, yeah, I have their place and stuff like that too, but they are the best tank. And as far as DPS goes, they just scale with with the gear that they get. It, they become unstoppable. Rogues can kind of stay there and stay with them, and they'll go back and forth sometimes. But my God, r r Warriors, I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible. Warriors are the top tier right there. Uh, and then A tier are, in order, Priest, Rogue, Paladin. Uh, I'd say Priests are the best healers with a very next second as Paladins is the next best healers. Not enough to bump them down a tier, but definitely enough to have them be in the same tier as the two best healers, Priest and Paladin two best healers uh, Paladins gain a whole bunch of really good heal as far if the, Paladins are here for healing though by the way just for the record this is a healing Paladin if you have a, uh, a Rhett Paladin you're down here Rhett Paladin yeah, come on you're your Rhett Paladin's way down here just for the record Warriors S tier no matter what spec you pick you're good um, uh, Holy Paladin Rhett Paladin prop paladin right okay uh, just for the record and then the priest is right here and then shadow priest is going to be down here as well so just for the just keeping that in mind uh rogues are just uh, my goodness depending on what weapons you have you'll be fine a tier uh b tier are all the range dps it's pretty much simple as that. Range DPS, whatever specs. Uh, mages go back and forth between Frost and Fire. Uh, Warlocks are going to kind of change up depending on how much gear you have with uh, crit and whatnot. Same thing with Hunters. You're going to have whatever specs you are. You're going to be solid with solid range DPS, be able to stay at range DPS. Uh, it's always a viable uh, thing to have is range DPS. You don't have too much melee because then you just get all, it gets all clumped up, especially if AoEs happen. It gets a little messy. So having some range DPS, you're going to have a, a safe spot there. So there's B tier. And then the C tier. Sorry. Again, Shaman's down there. Druid's down there. They they can do a lot of things, but they're not a master of anything. Uh, Moonkins and Enhancement. Moonkins and Elemental Shamans for casters are not the best. You might have one of them for certain buffs that they give, but probably not. You'd be better off with a Resto Shaman. Resto Shamans have Chain Heal. So Resto Shaman might be a here if you're thinking about for Healing Shaman, Resto Shaman. But Enhancement Shaman, Elemental Shaman... Ah, they're just down here. So I, I would say Resto Shaman would probably be up here. But anyway, it's not a big change because you're at the bottom of the barrel anyway. Uh, druids in the same way. Feral Druids? Feral Druids can tank? But I mean, you're pretty much, you're in the same, you're in the same spot here, right? Uh, why is this? There we go. Um, uh, Feral Druids, just not as good as Rogues at all. And they're not as, they don't do more damage than the ranged DPS. Uh, and then Resto Druids are solid. Resto Druids are, are good. It's good to have one of them, but you don't. No, we need much more than that of them and the priests and paladin are kind of better anyway so there's the whole list on that and then my final thing is just for fun 
This is the fun list, and that's another reason why I'm going to be maining Shaman, most likely. Uh, then followed up by Warrior. I've never made a mage, but man, oh man, they look so fun. I, I've never made a hardcore mage. I've had plenty of mages across my WoW career. But I've never done a hardcore mage. They look super fun. The toolkit they have, super awesome. Druids also have a huge toolkit. Very fun to shift around and shapeshift. That's for me. I like the class fantasy of that. Uh, and then... These, I've just never liked uh, the pet micromanagement for these. I don't like having a pet, and I don't like having combo points, so that puts them down here for me. Uh, and then see and see it for the Paladin, it's just they are very, as far as from a fun perspective, it's very boring to, for the Priest, hit something with a Mind Blast, put a dot on it, then wand it to death. For a Paladin, put a seal on yourself and auto-attack it to death. It's just not the most fun gameplay as far as from a fun perspective. I could I, I, I could go from there. And now Shamans, Wind Fury Prox, Shock Spells, Totems on the Ground, Heals, light, Range Spells. Lots of really fun stuff there. And Warriors obviously were my, my uh, uh, bread and butter there. So there's the tier list. I hope that helps you uh, in, in what you're kind of wanting to think about uh, as far as what you want to play for you. If you want to check out the video with a huge... Uh, um, uh, breakdown I do with a class and I break down every single thing as far as the different utility survival to all the different tools that every class has give a full breakdown you can check that video out in the description and uh, stay creative think us at the box good luck out there stay alive peace